time no see i haven't seen you in a little bit not gonna lie i have not posted in ages but it's been a roller coaster what can i say i finished uni and started working straight away however i ended up changing jobs earlier this year so it's just been a bit chaotic i'm settling in it's been really exciting i just haven't had time Hello everybody, welcome to a day in the life of a working woman. I started my day as any other. Today's a random Thursday and I woke up, I tidied my room a little bit because it's the background of my Zoom call, so come on. After that, I did my skincare, had breakfast and then started working. This morning I had two calls, but nothing too draining. It's lunchtime. Most of the time I have things pre-cooked, which is the case for today. And today we have on the menu some tomato pasta with veggie meatballs from ikea what can i say how we wait Ta -da! i'm still my lunch break just having my coffee i came into the lunch to see if i could get a little bit of sun but the weather really said not today anyway i think it's time to go back to work the sooner i start the sooner i finish these are what i use when i need to focus they're noise cancelling it's quarter past six. I'm so tired. Let's close this. Oh, nice. My eyes. I did get a very fun parcel from work. It is a mini pancake making kit. How fun is this? So it has the pancake mix. And then there's all kinds of toppings. There's vegan marshmallows, Oreo crumbs, white chocolate, Belgium chocolate, lotus paste which I, oops which i don't really know what it is and golden syrup how fun should we make pancakes for dinner that's not the healthiest is it but it would be fun to make them it is a little bit past six so i'm done with work my head hurts a little bit but i think it's just because i've been in front of the screen for too long if i'll take a 10 minute break i'll be fine oh. What am I gonna do? I ended up tidying some stuff in the kitchen, honestly. Call me a domestic goddess. But now I need to get going with food, otherwise it's gonna get too late, but I have the greatest idea in the world. Here it says that it is a crepe and pancake mix and that it can be enjoyed sweet or savory. So I had a brilliant thing. Let's think pesto, mushroom, spinach, crepe. And then some sweet ones for dessert. Very excited about that. My first attempt didn't go as well as expected, so we're going again. We're trying once more. The mushrooms are basically done, so I just took them off the hob. Okay, 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 okay. I have the pancake on me. One, two, three. Oh, I did it. Kind of. Yeah, that went well. Turns out I'm having pancakes for dinner. Woo! Woo! A lovely mushroom spinach pesto crepe. We'll do a quick taste test before I go to the lounge and sit down having dinner. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Pesto is delicious. Mmm. Chef's kiss. <laughs> Just finished dinner. It was actually delicious. I've been finding this so relaxing. I was given this paint by numbers and I have the corresponding paints. Three paint brushes. Now I'm gonna paint a little bit to relax time for myself i call somebody either talk to my mum or put youtube on and it's just so relaxing before i go to bed also not on a screen i've been enjoying it so much this is so rogue for me because i wouldn't say i'm very artistic especially when it comes to painting or drawing and this is borderline therapeutic especially for the days where i'm not doing any sports after work because the days I have cheered so fine, I just feel like more than ever it's important to have hobbies of my own for fun. Some hobbies don't need to be productive and I, this is how I feel about painting and even reading, even though reading is always productive. Ladies and gentlemen, it is bedtime. I'm really tired, it was a lovely day and I get to do it all over again tomorrow. Joys of life. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.